fate of the world. Hello everyone, and welcome to what for me is going to be a very special little let's play. Probably only this one video, unless of course I discover more about this game and feel like sharing it with you guys, and then <laughs> it'll be another one. This game is actually an indie game, and as you can see, it's called Fate of the World. It's going to be a special let's play for me, for several reasons, which should become apparent as we get on with this video. In this game, you hold the fate of the world in your hands. You play as the president of an international organization charged with saving the world from global warming and other environmental disasters, but also political disasters, which are man-made. This game is based on several decades of research, as far as I understand it. I have read up a little bit about this game. Many of the things that we are about to see are a possible reality and a possible future. And that is why I felt that it was important for me to share not only a good game and an entertaining game to play, but in my opinion, an important game which I am thankful has been made. Because it highlights something that many people shy away from or ignore. It highlights the fate of the world. We're going to go into new game and to a possible reality, which I'm sure you can understand. A fuel crisis. Mankind stands at the brink of two disasters. The specter of peak fuel production along ever worsening global warming. Your job is to navigate humanity's way through these potential disasters and reach the year 2120 with hope still intact. All I have to do to win this scenario is to reach the year of 2120. I will, however, lose this scenario if any of these conditions come to pass. Global Human Development Index falls below 0.5 if I am banned from more than eight from eight or more regions in the world, if global warming goes above three degrees, or if I lose control of the GEO headquarters region. I am going to tell you right now, it is very possible that I will not be able to complete this scenario with the win winning condition. I am far more likely to lose. This game has been made, as I said, based on years of scientific research. And the difficulty of this game highlights the real difficulty that we face today and why this is so important to shine a light on, to get people aware of, and to encourage people to make a change. And if I manage to get through this entire scenario, it will be nothing but luck on my part. I have tried it once before doing this recording. And we are about to try it again. And this time, 
you're coming along for the ride to see just how much of a struggle that possibly awaits us in the near future. I will be known as Sir Axiom. I could be known as Darling, which I have been before. I could be known as Your Worship or Your Excellence, the Learned One. Master Axiom certainly has a ring to it. But for this, this special video that I intend to make, and I'm making, and you are currently watching, I'm not going to play around with the game. I'm not going to... For me, it would be disrespecting it. So I'm not going to make fun. This is serious. For me, maybe not so much for you. But still. Sir Axion, the president of the Global Environment Organization. When environmental collapse cannot be ignored, how should civilization respond? Fate of the world. Twenty one ten, a uh, twenty ten. Through a decade of economic uncertainty and growing civil unrest, the world faces the most erratic weather ever recorded. Twenty eighteen, Cyclone Sunve. Experts are calling Sunve the world's first hypercane, smashing into already storm beaten coastline. Officials fear that the devastation will be fuck. I missed that. By twenty one hundred, dangerous temperatures are a deadly possibility. Shrinking ice caps may result in the extinction of the polar bears in mere decades. Evacuation. The president of the Maldives admit inevitable migration. With the seas rising around the island, the president pleads to the leaders of the world to act against further climate change. 2020. Climate Summit. The world responds. Protection of our environment is too important to our future. To, to remain governed by the short-sighted carelessness of individual nations. The Global Environment Organization will act where action is needed. With the will and support of all nations to ensure a better future. A mix of celebration, skepticism and fear as the controversial CGEO is established. All eyes are now on Pre President Axiom to see precisely what kind of measures the GEO will take. And here we are. With the world in front of us. And its fate in our hands. The news tell us, for now, the global population. It has grown by 271 million. The global population is currently 7 billion 308 million people. We start in the year 2025. If we press this button we get a cheer and we can see the global population and how it is predicted to change. Several regions are growing. None of them are in the red so far. And some are falling around Egypt, northern India, down here in Malaysia, bit of the Mexican coast here, 
northeastern USA. If we press this button, we can see temperature change. And as you can see, there is already a huge temperature increase around the North Pole and around Scandinavia and Siberia. If we press this button, we can see the Earth's change. And here we can see that the ice caps around the North Pole are melting. South Pole, not so much. And oceans. I don't know if they are changing or not, but they will be, unless we stop the ice from melting further. First order of business. We need to recruit some agents, which we can place in the various regions around the world. And with them in place, we will be able to uh, implement various different changes to those regions. And hopefully, we can reach the year 2120 with hope still intact. Now, first thing that I personally want to focus on is reduce global warming and to do that I intend to reduce the uh, carbon emissions into the atmosphere. The biggest contributors of carbon emissions would be North Africa, Europe, Russia, China and East Asia, and Ocean Oceania. I also want someone in Japan. And that will be it for recruitment for now. As I recruit those people, they the regions where they are in come up on my map here. I can go into these regions and do what th this game is all about. Hope that I play my cards right. Here I can build a, s a uh, GEO headquarters somewhere in the world. The GEO headquarters will unlock global policies. I can only have one in each scenario. I could switch transports to electricity, convert North America's transport to electrical power, massively cuts back dependency on oil, but increases electricity needs in proportion. I could protect land, soil and forests, negotiate the suspension of deforestation in North America and encourage reforestation, also reduce emissions in agriculture through better land use and farming practices. Reforestation to absorb emissions. I could commit to renewables. Direct North America to expand renewable powers across solar, hydro, geothermal, wind and tidal until it reaches capacity for each. It gives emission free energy but it's slow to complete. It takes time. And time is something we do not have. I could commit to nuclear power. Maximize nuclear energy production in North America using the best technology available. Moves energy mix towards nuclear fusion. But <coughs> it also comes with the risk of running out of uranium. On this page I could cap and trade carbon emissions, set North America an emission target 
and establish a carbon trading scheme to meet that target. As the price rises, people will gravitate to the options that fall under it. It may limit growth. I could start a vegetarian revolution. Raising animals for meat is an inefficient use of land and contributes to world hunger and environmental damage. Start a revolution in eating habits. It would reduce ecological impacts of agri agriculture. Or I could implement a Tobin tax. It would create a tax on financial transactions with all monies raised over the cost of collect collection going to GEO. It would raise money for the cause. But support loss would be due to corporate lobbying and reduced investor confidence would be a side effect. I can also establish an environmental protection office which unlocks cards that address food and environmental issues. I could have a regional technological office, technology office, to unlock wealth of a wealth of new technology options. A region energy office to enable energy policy making in North America. These may diverge from global legislation. Unlocks card to help fix energy. I could have a welfare office to unlock urgent aid and civil development assistance. And I can have a political office. Enables direct intervention in North America as needed to further GEO objectives. I don't think I'm going to need it here. If I go back out here, we have a stat uh, telemetry. We can see emission stats. These are for the coming years. And these are predicted data for future years. Each turn will advance the game five years. Global temperatures are scheduled to rise. Global population is also rapidly nearing nine billion people. And the world GDP, global domestic domestic production is on the rise for now I could go into the wiki, wiki here and find lots of useful information on all of the things like carbon or carbon pricing cloth threats climate and weather, weather coal and other useful information. That's the main menu. This is the funding panel. It views funding contributions from each region. So far Oceania is giving us ten dollars. Middle East 60. China and East Asia 132. Southern Africa 18. Europe 167, India 45, Japan 44, Latin America 77, North America 160, Northern Africa 17, Russia 22, and South Asia 37. In total, we gain $788 per turn. That's probably 78, 7.88 million or something along those lines. I don't know. I could go in here and see the emissions chart. Again, global temperatures. Those are shortcuts. First thing I want to do in trying to play my cards right. North America is 
switch to electrical transport to cut down on oil dependency. China start a project to commit to renewable energy Europe I'm not quite sure I think I'll construct a regional energy office Russia an environmental protection office Japan a research office and Oceania commit to renewables here we can see news for each individual region we have a gas shortage in Oceania Japan has an oil shortage and is turning to coal becoming more dependent on that China is hindered by oil, gas, transport and water shortage. More coal shortage and they are turning to coal. Russia has a gas shortage and is instead turning to coal. Europe has an oil and gas shortage and lots of other shortages as well. <coughs> all of which we are, are going to have to try and fix. North America has a gas shortage. With my cards played, you can see here, that's my budget, I have $263 left. I'm going to recruit one person in the Middle East, one person in India, In the Middle East, let's see, they have a gas shortage. I'm going to build a political office. And in India, I'm going to build a welfare office. I have a hundred dollars left to spend. So we'll recruit one more person in Southern Africa. and build a welfare office. Africa is turning to coal despite having a coal shortage and I have spent my budget for this turn. It's time to play my cards and see if I've played my cards right. Here we can see that a resource shortage across the globe is hindering growth. We can see that emissions are rising, so are temperatures. One degree of warming. The world has reached one degree of warming over pre-industrial levels. Expect an increase in disasters and permanent regional change. Global gas production peaks. GEO energy analysts have confirmed that global gas production is falling. A rising Arctic methane reported. Melting ice and permafrost in the Arctic region is resulting in large quantities of methane constantly being released from the seabed and newly exposed wetlands, resulting in an increased greenhouse effect. GEO energy analysts have confirmed that global oil production is falling. GEO energy analysts have confirmed that global uranium production is falling. And the world's population is at 7 billion 578 million. Advanced drilling breakthrough. Scientists in Europe have announced that the groundbreaking discovery of advanced drilling technologies, facilitating greater exploitation of fossil fuels and increasing geothermal power potential. 
This screen shows us the annual emissions summary. India and Oceania and South Asia are all emitting a higher than expected <coughs> carbon emission rate. All these other regions are emitting slightly less than predicted. Let's hope that it stays that way. This is our global popularity. We can see here that the Middle East and Russia and North Africa have taken a slight hit as the hearts have been darkened in color. We need to try and keep this as high as possible with as many regions as possible or they will eventually kick us out which will only cause us to have a much more difficult time in making the changes that are necessary. And here we have the news again. All the news that we already saw. Our budget for now is $659. Europe Peace reigns in Europe. Turmoil may be afflicting other parts of the world, but the people of Europe have little to complain about. Overall, the political situation here is stable and improving. We have the advanced drilling in the air tonight. Pollution and plenty of it. Repository illness, illnesses are on the rise in Europe, thanks to the air pollution from transportation and power stations burning fossil fuel. Medics also report a surge in cases of asthma, pneumonia, lung and heart disease. Repository allergies are up as well. North America. Austerity protests becomes family outing. Families are turning anti-austerity protests at GEO offices across North America into a fun day out. Parents and children are staging a serial of peaceful events that call for GEO action. Violence never solves anything, says Collins. We want our presence to be persuasive. Lots of things for me to keep track of. Russia. Russian tech is on the rise. Anti-GEO rallies turn into bloodbath. The anti-GEO pro pro protests in Russia were supposed to be peaceful event, but people in this developed region are enraged by plummeting standards of living. Bullying police only made matters worse. When anger turned to violence, the bloodbath outside GEO offices became inevitable, and healthcare woes plague Russia. Russia is considered a developed region, but you wouldn't know that after visiting a hospital. With so many sick, the healthcare system is struggling to cope. Nurses and doctors are under immense strain. They can only hope things don't get any worse. So, we are building a region welfare office here. We did build this. Can't do anything since I can only play one card, having only one person or agent in this region. Europe. Struggling with pollution. So, we will switch to electronic transports. Middle East. Gandhi spirit enriches <laughs> austerity pro protests. People in the Middle East may be angry about the low standard of living, but their protests out outside the GEO offices evoke the spirit of the 20th century activist Gandhi. Anti-austerity campaigns 
are using their mantra of civil disobedience to make the case for GEO action. High levels of house sharing in the Middle East is causing great deal of anger. There is no dignity in living like this, squashed together like sardines, said local parent Be Begum or Bijam. And their technology is at a crawl. There are lots of stuff we need to do around here. Lots of stuff. <sighs> We are going to need a welfare office here as well. India. As you can see, lots of stuff here as well. Gas stealing, contaminate water tablet in India. Smog, a funeral shroud for many. Peaceful protests. But here, we have a welfare office already constructed and maybe we can make a change I just don't know what transport infrastructure relieves transport stress nothing really there this place, I think, needs an environmental protection office. Southern Africa. Another protest. Recriminalization uh, follows Southern African flooding. One year from the South Southern African flood disaster. Political leaders are demanding reasons why the GEO failed to act in the reports calling the defensive measures one of the GEO's own experts wanting action. Claims make, so what went wrong? Waiting lists deadly in South Africa. Cancer treatments that can't be gi <coughs> given to people who need it. Victims of healthcare woes. So we'll start a medical welfare program. And what about Japan? Peace reigns in Japan. And advanced drilling researched. Here we have different technologies. <sighs> Provide GEO funding to support advanced material research in Japan. We'll supply techs for resource extraction, renewables and nanobots. But the region might use techs, ignoring the risks. Same if we supply techs for AI and smart grids. Or carbon capture and storage, improved nuclear and renewables and fusion power in the future. Biotech supply techs for biofuel and nanomedicine. Robotics to supply tech for extraction, space and geoengineering. Let's try an energy program research here. And we still have some money to spend so we'll put an agent in each of the regions currently not with an agent. Latin America. Expanding Heatley cell decreases rainfall. Increased equatorial temperatures have resulted in Heatley cell hot air currents pushing further north and south. This has made the climate in Latin America much drier. So what we need here I think is an environment office. Northern Africa. Technology is at a crawl. Militancy is on the rise. Intensified El Nino conditions bring storms. And it disrupts the monsoon seasons. Rioters target us as well. 
We're going to need a political office and try to stabilize this region before we can do any real change here. Southern Asia. Massive deforestation is underway. And technology is at a crawl. We have to stop the deforestation here. And so we will have to protect land, soil and forests. And encourage reforestation. We still have some money left to spend. Oops. <sighs> and I just don't know. There are so many places where it could be of so much use. And so little I can do about it. So little to spend. I think we should have one more in Russia, one more in the Middle East, and help these regions to grow and recover. Middle East, unrest, will provide security assistance, try to stabilize this region. Russia is getting a welfare office and commit to renewable energies. Let's see if I've played my cards right. There's still an oil shortage. Emissions are on the rise. Global temperatures are on the rise. The last of the summer ice. The Arctic Circle now experiences summer, summers that are virtually ice free. Species are in crisis, communities are in turmoil, and the seas are rising. And we are only two turns into the game. Global population has grown. By the end of next turn, we will have reached 8 billion people. Smart grids breakthrough. Scientists in North America have announced the perfection of smart grid technology, allowing energy demand and supply to be intelligently balanced across the region. Emissions are going down. North America has gone up, China has gone up, Middle East and South Africa while Oceania has decreased <sighs> amazingly. And our popularity continues to fall in North Africa and Russia and the Middle East. Let's see what we can do about that. General strikes in the Middle East, outraged at their low living standards, the workers of the Middle East have downed tools to put pressure on their government. El Nino has reached here, and technology is at a crawl. Let's see what we can do here. We could implement an educational enrollment. The Middle East's people would like broader access to education. Direct funds towards both, inc both increasing numbers of classrooms and subsiding local students to get to them. That sounds like a good idea. We could encourage consumption to shift outlook towards consumerism. We could fund black ops to make available special powers for achieving geo objectives. Not gonna do that. We're trying to make a change for the better here. We're trying to make a change for the better. And we have to keep that in mind. We could have an eco-awareness campaign, persuade people of the Middle East 
of the stark realities of climate change and encourage them to accept environmental legislation and be more realistic in their expectations. We could grow industries to move workers into the industry. Or we could grow agriculture or grow commerce. I don't know. Research. We put a research office there simply because it seems needed at the time. What about India? Every breath you take is killing you. Death due to the air pollution have doubled in India. Smog from cars, trucks and industry is claiming the young, the elderly and those and those with repository infections. We will take breathing for grant we take breathing for granted, says medic Ranjit, but every breath some people take is killing them. We have to do something about that. And we have already moved their transportation into electronics. This will take too much time. India needs a change now. So we'll commit to nuclear power. Despite the risks that come with it. Russia. Renewables expansion begins. Russia has begun a ma major expansion of renewable energy, building new <laughs> generating capacity in wind, solar, geothermal, hydro and tidal. Russian tech is on the rise. There is a general strike because of low living conditions. And if you're feeling ill, avoid the hospitals. You, re you really are better off buying from the snake oil peddlers. So, we will have a medical welfare program and try to do a, our best to help the Russian population. North Africa. Poverty ravaged North Africa turns on Axiom. Angry mobs are surrounding GEO offices across North Africa, demanding the Global Organization Act to end local poverty. As violent protests escalate into riots, President Axion is thought to be the contemplating withdrawal of all support from Northern Africa. No. Speculations and rumors, people. Speculations and rumors. I will fight for Northern Africa. I will try to do my best here. We'll construct a welfare office. And that is all we can do. Latin America. Peace reigns in Latin America. There's a small resource shortage. But, and tech is advancing slowly. But it is advancing. We could enact, enact basic plans and preventive measures for drought switch to organic farming which will reduce agricultural toxicity but risk reduce yields reduced yields protect agricultural and industrial yields with water resources in the region are under stress funding upgrades to water processing and distribution systems to alleviate this issue Latin America has an extensive rainforest and we are going to spend money in reforestation. I have quite a budget left to spend. I will hire another agent in North Africa and one in South Africa. The agent here will provide security assistance, try to keep the peace, stabilize the region some more just in case the riots get violent South Africa 
waiting list is deadly. We are in <coughs> we are planning on a medical welfare program. And tech is at a crawl. So we will have a technological office. And with $141 to spend, we will end the turn and see if I've played my cards right. And the temperature is rising, emissions are rising. Geo energy analysts have reported that global uranium production is rising again. And coal production is falling. We have reported that global oil supply is rising again, thanks to increasing unconventional oil production. And the global population has way past the mark of 8 billion people. CCS breakthrough in Japan. Scientists in Japan have announced that carbon capture and sequestration technology is ready for implementation. And emissions in Russia are once again on the rise. North America is below expectations. India is above. And Europe is above. We have gained favor with Russia once again. But North America is dangerously close to kicking us out before we have been able to implement any real changes there. What's the news? Militancy is on the rise. Sir, political instability and low quality of life in Northern Africa is resulting in increased support for insurgent groups. Things are getting dangerous. And they are ex expecting a water stress. Fresh water supplies in northern Africa are being severely overexploited, resulting in damage to the agricultural sector. Technology is at a crawl. And rioters target the GEO. But now we have a chance to make a difference. Build an environmental protection office. And... We're going to have to try to keep stability. May seem harsh. Actually, it is harsh. We will provide them with medical welfare. And try to gain their favor that way. And show them that we are there to make a positive difference. Peaceful protests target GEO in the Middle East. And technology is at a crawl. We are currently trying to get educational enrollment going and we could start on technology here there's so much to do And I have to choose wisely to make the right choices and the right differences. Deploy CCS to reduce emissions? No. We could grow the industry.
reduce sickness, have an eco-awareness campaign, I think we will try an energy research program. Southern Africa. Shale gas drilling contaminates water tablets. We need to do something to save their water supply. So we need an environmental office. North America. Peaceful protests. Technology is booming. Electric transport policy as successful as possible. Nearly 80% of the region has now switched to electric transport solutions. No further gains are considered economically, economically feasible. So we have made a difference in America. It's time to make more of a difference. We could set a cap and trade on the carbon emissions or commit to renewables, but that is too slow. It's not going to be able to make a difference. We put an environmental office here. And with our remaining budget, not quite used to all these buttons yet. This is only my third game. You can see population changes. We're going to have to do something about India and China. And Latin America. So we'll recruit some more people there. India is committing to nuclear power, peaceful protests, topsoil troubles, arable land across India is under threat from major topsoil erosion, farmlands are already suffering some degradation following years of drought and limited agricultural innovation. It remains to be seen whether the GEO will intervene to help solve these pro this problem. Of course I will. We will have a water management program to protect agriculture and, indu and industrial yields. We could do a famine relief program which alleviates the harm from famine, but it does not fix the cause of the problem. While we might save a few people in the long run, or in the short term, it's not going to help them in the long run. So we will have Actually, we will have the Droth Erosion and Wildfire Defenses. And that should help this region. China. Tidal construction complete. We have reached current capacity for tidal power. If you want to make more electricity from tides, you'll need advanced turbines technology to improve energy conversion and smart grids to connect to the electrical grid onshore. Shale gas drilling contaminates water tablets. Urban sprawling brings smog to new victims. Sang didn't get asthma until the government of China built a fossil fuel power plant power station nearby. Now late night trips to the hospital are all too common. The smog gets so thick I can't see to watch home from smog says Tsang. It never used to be like this. And wildfires are sweeping across China, like looking into hell. Facing the seizable wildfires 
sweeping across China is like looking into hell itself, according to Lin. Trapped by the flames, the firefighters had almost given up hope of rescue before the wind shifted, mo wind shift moved the blaze to another direction. It was a miracle, plain and simple. We cannot expect miracles alone to save us. So we need an environmental office in China. And Latin America. Dry years in Latin America. And anti-GEO riots run amok. Because we have not been able to do as much as they were expecting. We will have a drought, erosion and wildfire defense constructed in Latin America as well. And with $55 to spend, I end my turn. And I can only hope that I have once again played my cards right. I don't know if I've played the other cards right. Emissions and temperature are rising. Global coal production is rising. The global population is nearing 8.4 billion people. Fourth generation nuclear breakthrough. Scientists in Japan have announced the commercial implementation of fourth generation fast breeder nuclear power reactors, allowing for much greater efficiency in uranium usage. Russia has tremendously decreased its annual emissions. China is also below what was originally expected. North America slightly higher, as well as most of these underdeveloped countries, Oceania and Japan. But we are gaining favor across the globe. We're losing some in Latin America and North America, South Asia, Northern Africa is stabilizing. We are doing the best we can. China. Flash floods have been prevented. Calamitous flooding in China has cost countless lives and damaged farm and households. Now some experts are claiming this could have been prevented if the GEO had taken action. Global should mean the whole world, said President Li. At least there are peace in China. There is peace in China. Well, we couldn't prevent it before, but we can always look for future floods and prevent those from happening again. India. India experiences water stress. Fresh water supply in India are being severely overexploited, resulting in damage to the agricultural sector. Water management program. Because access to clean water is immensely important to everyone. The Middle East. Technology is at a crawl. Industrial resource undersupplied. Shortage hinders the energy sector. Let's provide them with education this time. South Africa. We have a healthcare program underway and it's making good progress. El Nino conditions bring storms and disruptive monsoons. We will have a storm, flood and coastal defense here. Northern Africa is experiencing a water stress. Water management program. Latin America shale gas contaminated water tablet. Tech is on the rise. 
methanogen vaccines for livestock. Sir, Latin America has instituted mandatory methanogen vaccinations for all livestock, yielding significant reductions in agricultural methane emissions. That is excellent news. Storms cut off part of Latin America, kills whole families. Oh dear. On the one hand, we need to give them a water management program. But on the other, we need to prevent the storms from happening again. We are going to have to recruit one more agent in Latin America and make sure that they are both protected from the storms and have the water for, their, for the protection to actually save lives instead of just shifting it from death by storm to death by dehydration. They will need both of those. North America. Farmlands suffer topsoil troubles. Austerity protesters pack in panic. Groups pan campaigning against low standards of living in North America are staging protest picnics outside GEO <coughs> offices. We're supposed to be a developed region, says Cruz. But too many people are struggling to make ends meet. The GEO has the power to help change that. I sure hope I do. We don't have an energy office or a welfare office. So we'll build a welfare office in North America. Something I did not expect to have to do. I was hoping that region could take care of that for themselves. And Europe. Minor droughts increases fire risks in Europe. Well, we're going to need an environmental office then. And another agent in Europe. I did not mean to press that. Europe. I'm going to look to the future here, build a welfare office here as well. And with my remaining money, I'm going to recruit where I think people will be needed the most. South Asia. Forests saved from destruction. Agricultural expansion that's threatened to increase deforestation rates have been halted thank to, thanks to efforts to curb deforestation. However, adequate food supplies may, may now be at risk. So I've saved the forest, but I may have doomed the people in the process. To counter that, we're going for a vegetarian revolution. Oceania, they are protesting multiple wildfires and topsoil troubles. You're going to need an environmental office. And with only $89 left to spare and the world spinning peacefully around and the fate of the world resting in my hands, I will end my turn and hope once again that I have played my cards right. The world has reached one and a half degrees of warming over pre-industrial levels. Expect an increase in disasters and permanent regional change. As Arctic temperatures soar, more and more methane is being released from seabed deposits and wetland anaerobic bacteria. The global population has reached, be reached beyond 8.5 billion people. Political instability in Northern Africa, civil unrest is fomenting, fomenting rapidly here. 
Louis is missing. Recent troubles in Northern Africa are suspected as a cause and condolences have been sent to Louis' family. It will take time to find a suitable replacement. For now, progress on the medical welfare program that we were trying to, to establish in that region have been temporarily stalled. And war has broken out in Northern Africa. And humanity has lost its closest genetic relative, the Sumatran orangutan. The primates are extinct, a victim of shrinking rainforests, habitats and poachers. The species had been observed creating tools but could not adapt fast enough for rapid changes in South Asia. There was nothing I could do. And as I look at the emissions across the world, it doesn't look good. Northern Africa, once again, are losing faith in our ability to help them. Japan and South Asia as well. We have to do something. We have to recruit someone in Japan and two more people in Northern Africa. The healthcare program fortunately is on its way. The agent is missing in action. Political instability. There are severe droughts, people are on strike, and there is a war. We could declare martial law, bringing the fighting in Northern Africa to an end as swiftly as possible, deploying security contractors to support local governments in bringing the situation under control. It's a desperate move to make, but I'm desperate. What else needed to be addressed? Droughts. So we enhance water infrastructure and growth and erosion and wildfire defenses. Actually no, we will have a famine relief since we are increasing their water supply they should be able to yield mo more food for themselves as well and we will have famine relief until they can support themselves Japan will have a welfare office Oceania welfare office India We're gonna have to put a cap on and trade on carbon emissions to try and reduce the amount of emissions. Russia. The water supply is in danger here. So we'll have a water management management program. South Africa, monsoons and wildfires. We will build up protection against those. Northern Africa, I'm done with you for now. I'm doing as best I can. China, renewable energy expansion stalled. All strands of renewables have come up against technological barriers. You will need to advance technology in this region to expand further. So we'll need a technology office. But with that, I'm also going to need one more agent in that region. Spending almost all of my budget already.
because we also need to save the water here. Europe. Multiple wildfires. We have to do something. And a water management program, because the wildfires could just as easily reduce water supplies here. Militancy is on the rise here. We'll build them a welfare office. And a political office. I can't afford a political office. Fuck. This place needs storm flood and coastal defenses. There's nothing more I can do but end the turn and hope that even though I couldn't do as much as I wanted to for South America and Latin America that I have played my cards as right as I possibly could. GEO energy analysts have reported global gas production is rising again. The global population is soon to be 9 billion people. And civil unrest is fomenti fom fomenting rapidly in Latin America. And the GEO brings peace to war-torn Northern Africa. Our security advisors have helped this region end its bloodshed. The GEO can now assist in repairing the damaged war, the, the damage war has done to Northern Africa. These efforts are doing much to enhance your reputation in this part of the world. So while it may have been extreme for me to implement martial law in that region, it was worth it in the end. Second generation biofuels break breakthrough. Oceania have elevated second generation biofuels to a commercial level using cellulose feedstocks such as gra grasses to make synthetic fuels. And emissions in Europe are going down. China is slightly above what was expected. And our popularity and support from Northern Africa has increased by three. Now we need to focus on South Asia, Japan and Latin America. South Asia. don't have any cards to play here. I need an agent. I'm going to need more than one agent. There. South Asia is going to need a political office, a welfare office, and an environmental protection office. Japan is going to have general strikes, outraged by the low living standards. But we'll do what we can, give them a medical welfare program for those who are unfortunate enough not to be able to use Japan's own medical facilities. Oceania. Lots of good stuff is happening here. CCS research, technology is booming, they're turning to gas instead of coal. 
hydro hydroelectric expansion is complete. And so we look to the future and prepare for storms, flood and coastal defenses. China. Cancer increase li linked to pollution. So we need to do something about the pollution. Switch transport to el electricity. Acquire second generation biofuels. Let's China use biofuels which reduces the impact on food supply. CCS to reduce emissions. Yes, acquire carbon capture and sequestration technologies to reduce the emissions here and try to, f to combat the pollution currently plaguing China. Russia. Storms. Cut parts of Russia. So we'll have to build storm defenses. Militancy is on the rise in southern Africa. And technology is at a crawl. What can we do to help this region? I wonder. We could acquire this to reduce emissions. and try to save the rainforests here. Latin America. Political instability. Decreases rainfall. We're gonna need enhanced water infrastructure and a political office. North America. are some campaigns against us. Capture and store carbon dioxide delivers an 80% reduction in fossil fuel energy industry emissions over 50 years. Makes systems up to 40% less efficient. There's so much we need to do. We'll improve the defenses. Northern Africa. Poverty ravaged. Let's try to fix that. A job sharing incentive to decrease unemployment. Educational enrollment to help people find a job and coastal defenses. Europe. The world's most endangered cat species dies out. The Abrexian lynx has declared ex been declared extinct. Unique to Spain and Portugal, this large cat survived on a primary diet of rabbits. But disease and hunting by humanity cut off the Iberian lynx's food supply. As numbers sank, there were simply not enough lynx left to keep the species alive. I think I'll put my GEO headquarters here in Europe, except I can't afford that. So that will be a future project. We can build those defenses. And 
grow the commercial sector. But I don't want to mess with that. So, looking at the Pacific Ocean, I will end this turn and hope and pray that I've played my cards right. There's a global oil shortage and the oil production has fallen. <coughs> the population did not grow much so we are still waiting to get above 9 billion people in the world and I'm dreading that number. There's civil unrest in Latin America and the civ <coughs> one of our agents is missing in action because of it and political instability in southern Africa. War has broken out in southern Africa. Photovoltaic cell breakthrough. Scientists in Japan have announced dramatic advances in solar photovoltaic cell technology enabling significant expansion of solar power generation. And stratospheric aerosol. Directors of a geoengineering research project have announced that they have perfected the development of stratospheric sulfate aerosols, a cheap but highly controversial technique to reflect the sun's rays back into space. And we take a quick look at the emission chart. And South Asia and Latin America is where I need to focus the most. We need to save the water supply here. In South Africa. And we need to hire another agent. So let's see. Water management program. Build a political office. We are going to need one more agent. And I'm spending a lot of my budget here. We'll give them a medical welfare program in the hopes of making a difference somehow. South Asia. Sir, the agents believe anti-globalization activists in South, South Asia are planning an anti-geo campaign. There has been considerable chatter about our operations, questioning the need for our presence in the region. This could be the start of a wider effort against us. GEO's meat ban stalls in South Asia. GEO legislation to discourage meat production has met with stern opposition and public outcry in South Asia, with no meaningful progress achieved. They just don't understand why. So we, uh, we will encourage an eco-awareness campaign in the hopes of, <coughs> of letting the people better understand the work we are doing here. We'll have a higher educational program too. And water management. Oceania. Looking good. All they worry about is storms, so we'll build that. Renewable energy expansion. All, <laughs> all strands of renewables have come up against technological barriers. You will need to advance tech in this region to further <laughs> expand. So...
Energy Research Program. Russia. Austerity protesters pack in pack a picnic. There's probably something we need to do here still. Like protect against drought, erosion and wildfire. Europe. Europe best with multiple wildfires. So that needs to be constructed. We'll, we'll construct both of the disaster protections there. Northern Africa. Technology has slowed to a crawl. will build a technological office. Latin America. So much. So much we need to do. We have to declare martial law. And have a medical welfare program for the people injured in the war that was started. North America. Decreased rainfall. So we're going to need a water management program. Japan. We could deploy the sulfate aerosol, which directly lowers temperature. But it may further destabilize the climate. And I don't want to do that. I want to build an environmental protection office. And with $44 to spare, let's hope I've played my cards right. There's a shortage of oil and uranium. Damn. And global uranium production is falling. Global coal production is falling. Global gas production is falling. And we barely passed 9 billion people across the globe. There is political instability in southern Africa. But... Our security advisors have helped this region end its bloodshed. The GEO can now assist in repairing the damage war has done to South Southern Africa. These efforts are doing much to enhance your reputation in this part of the world. Famine and politics starving people of India are most in need. A failed harvest should not cause this much suffering. International aid has been flooding into India to tide people over. But a backdrop of civil war and political unrest means the aid is stuck in warehouses and airport hangars instead of helping those most in need. So we are going to have to do something for India. Which means we need to recruit two more agents. We need a political office. And famine relief. This time it was caused by a failed harvest, so this should be temporary. The famine relief program should be all that we need. Middle East. Political unrest spreads. See what we can do for them.
Human Development Index is continuing to rise. That's good. Maybe we could put in an Environmental Protection Office. We could acquire CCS. Or give them a medical welfare program. I don't think they need it right now though. Or provide security assistance. I would like to do this without deploying security forces. Peacekeeping forces. We'll ac acquire smart grids. Actually, no. We'll make an environmental protection office. Europe is going to have our headquarters now. Anti-drought efforts are providing a hit with people, proving a hit with people across this region. Geo defenses have up upgraded fire prevention and enhanced drought mitigations in Europe. We can all see how well these geo projects are working, says Bianchi. They're a big hit. Shale gas drilling. Water needs to be saved. So we'll do that. Southern Asia. They are in need of storm protections. So we'll build that. Oceania. Peaceful protests and political unrest. Let's see. Drought, erosion and wildfire defense. Japan. Storms are devastating part of Japan, leaving numerous casualties. Which is why we need the storm defenses. Russia. Smart grids researched. Russia looks pretty good right now. We'll have the defenses here. Southern Africa, we are well loved here. Political instability, Gandhi spirit, technology is at a crawl. We'll give them some education, hopefully allowing them to get that research going. Job sharing incentive. and drought, wildfire and erosion defenses. Latin America. You're going to need those defenses. Right. Northern Africa. Technology is still at a crawl, militancy is on the rise. them a medical welfare program show them that we mean well and do what we are doing what we can political unrest spreads in northern america farmlands suffer so we have to build some protection for that and with 45 dollars left to spare i end the turn There are massive resource shortages all across the globe. Global average temperature has increased by 2 degrees over pre-industrial levels. Expect an increase in disasters and permanent regional changes. 
Arctic methane were still. Methane releases from Arctic sources is rapidly accelerating and is making a considerable contribution to global climate change. The population of the Earth is slowly stabilizing. Soon there will be no more room left to grow. GEO headquarters is founded in Europe. The GEO headquarters has been established in Europe. Local inhabitants are very pleased that they are so important. And there is no hiding place for the rhino. The black rhinoceros is gone. Officially extinct in the wild, once common on the savannah of Africa, the creature was hunted by poachers for its hide and horn. Rising temperatures dried out waterholes and habitats, with human invasion finishing the job. Now the black rhino is no more. There was nothing I can do, could do. Geo agents is missing in action in South Africa. And political instability in India. We have full support from Europe and South Af Southern Africa. We need to work in Latin America, China, Japan and South Asia. But you know what? This video has become long enough. I might do the second part as a separate video. Or I might just play that for myself. That kind of depends on how I feel about it. And if you guys want to see it or not. But this has been Fate of the World. It's a game that's available on Steam. It's pretty cheap. And I would recommend that you play it. Or at least spread word about it. Because the game addresses something that needs to be addressed. And that is why this video was important for me to make. I thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed.